he's coming in here, dude. Is he? No sh What's he coming in here for? Like, seriously. What's going on? I don't know. Oh. You said we could fish here. Put your rod down. Put your rod down. Quick. Put your rod down. Yeah, we're in trouble. Hey. Hey. You there, bud? Right behind you, mate. I think it's just up in here somewhere. There's a little sneaky backtrack through here. I've never been here before. Are you sure about this? Yeah, trust me. All right, I'm following you. Where's he taking me? Oh, I'm gonna find out real quick. Some secret barrel hole, he reckons. Guaranteed fish, they tell me. Guaranteed. Secret honey hole. <laughs> Just up there near that fence, mate. If you back your car up to that fence and I'll park down here. What, fence? Do yeah, that fence there? Just back your truck up to that fence at the corner there. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong with this? A bit sus to me. What's the go here? What? What do we do? So we're going to up nice and quiet, mate. What? Up to that fence there. Why, why quiet? What's with the colours? They can open the fence and there's a secret little honey hole in here. What? It's the new norm, what? they tell me. Why do I have to be quiet? Is it that going to scare the barra? Yeah, and just, you know, probably. Just don't scare the barra. <laughs> okay, all right. See, there's no one here. What? There's no one here. Are you sure it's all right? Yeah, it's all shut down. Oh. Guarantee there's barra in there. In there? In there. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Nice work. Are you sure this is all right? <laughs> trust me. All right. I'll trust him. We're going to need the help, boy. Just ask old mate if we can grow one of his oars. Him? Yeah. Hey, mate. Can I just borrow yours? He's not saying much. I think it's alright. <laughs> uh, I just borrow his oars here. Before he realised what we're doing anyway. Thanks, mate. Shh. Sorry. Alright, ready? We're going in. Are you sure it's alright? No. Well, you, 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 no, you say yes. Hey, look, old mate's fishing. It's oh, yeah, he is. He's got a fishing rod. It's all good. All right, we're good then. I'm happy with that. Oh, I'm on. Oh, he's on. Fish oh, on. Oh, 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 I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's a barra Simon. Oh, it's a good oh, fish. Oh, it's a cracker too. too. He's, a, he's hooked under the mouth. That's a big fish. On to You're on! on to <laughs> oh, look at that! That's a stinker, mate. That's a good fish. It's a solid power. <laughs> I told you this was the spot, dude. This is the spot. Yeah, if I take a little tacker. You got a little tacker? I got a little tacker. That is a cracker. Yeah, it's a beauty. There's probably heaps of them in here. Do we keep them or we catch a couple more? Catch a couple more? Yeah, catch a couple more. Oh, that's a cracker. Look at that. There you go, buddy. Just don't tell all your friends about this spot. I'm not telling anyone. This spot's cold. Sean, Sean, Sean. You got a fish? You got a fish? <laughs> that's another one. <laughs> this pond must be full for me. <laughs> it must be. Yes! Solid fish! <laughs> oh, yes! Woohoo! Another barra! That was a good hit. Good hit? Yeah, that was gold. Wee pup. It's a barra, but. A barra, mate. <laughs> Still a barra. I like this spot. Oh, yeah. he's on! Yeah, he's on! It's a better one for me. It's a cracker. 
Oh, oh yeah, you're gonna love that. <laughs> Fish is big, isn't it? Uh, it's the spot, dude. It's the spot, oh, alright. Oh, it's a bit of fish, this one. Yes. She's going deep. She's going deep in the pond of dreams. This is honey hole. <laughs> it's the honey hole. Yeah, baby. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> well done. Beautiful fish. That's good job. Look at that, mate. <laughs> look at that yeah. for fish, mate. In That's the secret cracker. honey hole. What's he go? Oh, he's 70. 70? Yeah. All day long. Thanks, buddy. Oh, yeah. Good job. This is awesome. a spot. That's awesome. What a spot. Someone's in trouble. You hear that? Yeah. What's that for? I don't know. Someone's in trouble. Oh, shit, he's coming in here, dude. Is he? No, shit. What's he coming in here for? Like, seriously. What's going on? Alright. Oh. You said we could fish here. Put your rod down, put your rod down, quick. Put your rod down. Yeah, we're in trouble. Hey. Hey. Hang tight, we weren't doing nothing. Well, it appears that Simon's hot tip on this fishing spot has become slightly too hot to handle. But really, guys, the local Barra Centre... Look, don't worry, we're certain old mate that told Simon how to get in here will help clear this up, if he'd just answer his phone. Old mate, pick up! I told you not to fish in there, didn't It was you? your fault. You said. You said. It's a pond fault. You said it was all right. Old mate over there was fishing. Yeah, on. Dude. You told me it was all right. What? We're in the shit now, mate. We're proper in the shit. Are we going in the cage? We go there you go. Oh, no. oh. This is all bad, dude. <laughs> uh, look, folks, we may take a short break here and be back in a few moments. Well, you know hopefully. Side. No, you're on that no, side. You're on that side. We're cuffed together. Oh, <laughs> the, the arm doesn't go that way. That's, of course, once Jace and Simon have finished road testing this paddy wagon. Comfy in there, boys? This is a first for me now. <laughs> All right, you two rogues from All for Adventure were caught red-handed knocking off our Barramundis from the Lead Wilson Barramundi Centre. And you've been caught by a local constabulary, so you're guilty. And for that, I've sentenced you to 50 hours community service and two days in our jail. As you know, the All for Adventure team is very community minded. So 50 hours community service should be right up their alley. This is not good, dude. Oh, that's bad. But we were just catch and release, we weren't actually killing them. So seriously, I don't think that punishment fits the crime. I think we've been stitched up. I think we've been stitched up too. It's your fault. It's your fault we're in this predicament. <laughs> no, it's not. I was believing you the whole time. Like, you're like, follow me. And you since, said it was all right. Since when have you listened to me? Come on, you said it was all right. You told me. Welcome to your new home, guys. What? Seriously, seriously. Come on, guys. Oh, dear. I'm too bad. Oh. No. Judge, it's all your fault. The judge didn't like you, mate. Me? He did not it was like all, you. I said I'd roll over. I'd rat. <laughs> I'd rat for a leaner sen sentence. I said straight up. This whole thing's your fault. You didn't get, I didn't twist your arm. This whole thing is your fault. See you in two days. No! What do you want? How long we got to stay in here? You got two days. Two days, well, two, two days in here, then what? Well, you got to do 50 hours community service. 50, doing what? Well, you got to cook and clean for the community. I thought the judge was kidding. How are we going to do that? I told you the judge didn't like This you. is all your fault, 100%. Mate, I didn't 100%. twist your friggin' arm, This is mate. all your fault. I did not twist your friggin' arm. I'm pretty arm. sure there's a law that says if I follow you into doing stuff that I'm innocent. Hey, did you catch fish? 
Did I assure you you're going to catch fish? I'm innocent. You I was ready to rat. I was, right, I was ready to rat. I had a deal lined up with the prosecutor and everything, but he wouldn't accept it. Didn't work, did it? No. It was we're stuck man. here. We're stuck two days in here and 150, 50 hours of community service. Do we get fed in here? Mate, we'll have to sort that out later when you do your community <laughs> service. <laughs> do we get separate cells? <laughs> Two days, two I'm days. I'm hungry and thirsty too. <laughs> two days. He's gonna eat me! <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't listen to him. Why, why, why do I listen to him? I, I listen to him. I just, I should've went and uh, done. Why? Why do I listen to him? Is, is, is that my truck? Sounds is that like, my truck? Sounds like it, mate. They're impounding it. Is that, my, is that my truck? I can hear my truck. It's been impounded. What are they doing with my truck? Hey boys, I think we've got ourselves a new patrol car. Hey Sarge, is that man going to have to That's my truck, oh, that's my truck. That's, it's all bad, it's all bad, it's all bad. It's all bad, it's your fault. Shut up oh, with your freaking whinging. I shouldn't, your honor, I, I, honestly, I, I'm prepared. I'm prepared to come out now, honestly. Simon, would you like to hear a story? Nothing better to do, mate. Mate, did you know that the police force have been in this town since 1888? I did not know this. Yeah, it started off with a constable and a sergeant, right? And as the numbers grew in the town, because, because of the gold fields to the south, 3,000 people end up being in this town. That's a lot of people. That's a lot, considering 2,500 reside in the town now, to date. Now, when the gold fields erupted and people started moving into the town, they increased this, obviously the size of the police force. But in 1888, there was an outbreak, a violent outbreak between the Asians and the Europeans. Because the Asians used to come in from the gold fields because you know, the Chinese, the Malay, they were good workers. The Europeans used to come in, the Irish, you know, your forefathers and my forefathers. Troublemakers. Yes, troublemakers. Anyway, it got to boiling point and it erupted in town and it all started with a guy by the name of, he was a Malaysian, and it all started with a guy by the name of Seedon. Now, would you believe, old Seedon, now whether someone ticked him off or he'd had a few too many at the pub, he lost it and he stabbed three Europeans with a long bladed knife. Now, as you can imagine, the town just, it just erupted. The Europeans, took to arms. This whole town nearly erupted into a fireball because of this one event. Anyway, old Seedon, he was captured, he was tried in the courthouse over here. We know all about and that. And they actually sent him to Brisbane, Bogger Road Jail, and he was hung by the neck until dead. Let's do it, mate, nice work. Are we gonna get fed anytime soon? I hope so. You know yeah. that look in your eyes. Me too, mate. I'm getting oh, like very piggish. Oi, Simon, did I might give you any more good fishing spots? Ah, OK, we'll just uh, leave it there then. How about I go and chat to Judge Jack about early release? The team finally got out of the proverbial shh. Um, yeah, you get the general idea. But Judge Jack ruled they have to stay within the Shire limits. So it's camping out on Delta Downs until they finish their community service. Still back there, mate? Still there, buddy. You're still here. What's going on? Well, mate, we're finally heading north. It's definitely a lot warmer already. That it is, that it is. We're going to go and see if we can uh, do some uh, fishing, mate. Fishing sounds good. I believe uh, where we're going, we're pretty privileged too. Yeah, pretty much. She's, uh, she's a bit of a locked up joint and you need uh, special access. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. Yeah, no, it's going to be good. It is a working cattle station, mate, but um, there's also a huge length of coastline that this station uh, has on. Delta Down Station is run by the Kurtajar people of the Gulf. It's one of Australia's most successful Indigenous-run enterprises. It's called Mormor in language. We are set to meet the manager and the senior traditional owners to seek permission to travel on country. Well, it looks like we're here. This looks like the, uh, 
the station here somewhere, the main office, something like that. Yep, they're waiting for us, they know we're coming. <laughs> nice looking spot, mate, lots of nice shady trees. Oh, there he is. Hey, how you going, mate? Good, mate, how you Quentin, going? Quentin, innit? Quentin, Simon, how are you? Simon, Quentin. Hey, kids, how are you going? What's your name? Hey, buddy, how are you, mate? Scala. And your name? Bode. These are the ones like that do the work, don't you? Huh? Bo James. <laughs> Bo James. Oh, there you go. Very cool. Long drive, awesome. mate, or what? Yeah, it wasn't too bad, eh? Oh, okay. right, well, we might as well um, come in and have a look at a couple of maps and you can show us um, yep. where you think we should go and what we should check out. Hey, yeah. Fishing. Fishing? <laughs> He's on to work. He likes his fishing. <laughs> he likes his fishing. Yeah. Well, well, you, no you... dramas. Awesome. So I'm, lo I'm looking at the map here, mate. This place is huge. Yep. That's your How many acres you got here? Oh, a million acres, mate. A million acres. That's that's a lot of yeah. acres. Well, we're still a long way from the coast here, aren't we? Yeah. So you go. So you must run a, he a fair head of cattle. Though. Yeah, you got about 40, 50 and breathe. Oh, that's a couple. <laughs> <laughs> that's a couple. That's a lot of cows. A lot of country to muster. 43,000. Yeah. Wow. That's gold. The one thing I noticed about this place was the fact that you had this huge length of coastline. And, and it's a pretty remote area. Yep. Yeah, so the fishing here must be pretty good, eh? Yeah, it's not too bad, eh? Can be at times, eh? <laughs> All right, I'm excited. Hell yeah, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go and go and check that out. Yeah, yeah no, it's awesome. But yeah, th thanks for having us here, eh? Like, no worries, really, mate. Thank you for that, because... Um, I'm yeah, surprised yeah. they let you in here. No, they do, you mate, did they do. Really surprised. <laughs> you, they don't want to let in. <laughs> Let's go and do this. Let's go and do it. Yeah. Firstly, we need to meet Warren, the elder of the area. And this tree here holds a special story. This is a Kulibar tree. This is a Kulibar tree, is it? a Kulibar tree where my mother had me when born here, right alongside So you were born right here? Right here at the street. Wow. Here. <laughs> On the street. Oh, wow. Yes. No hospital? No hospital. Wow. So that's straight cold. in Mama's arms? Mama's arms. And, and I would have been about that high, and that's why I learned to ride a horse, Uncle and I At did. that height? Yeah. <laughs> and that's what. Yeah. That's why mum had me in the side of all this country. That's why I and, and you've you've pretty much lived and worked around this country for the rest, yeah, all, most of your life. All my life, all, all my life. life written them yet. Now Warren and his son Dave are here to welcome us to this land. They are like cool, this in Kurdish language, right? I'm talking in the language. And yeah. Let you know. Kurdish. They are like cool. The ceremony is said in language and then in English Back. as Warren is talking to the old people. That's in Kurtjar, this country, and I'm welcoming you home. It's my country. You, I'm welcoming this country, mine. So we're part of your mob? Yes, sir. We're part of the mob now. I like but, the sound of that. Oh, he hasn't completed yet. Then yeah. you have to do the smoke. Yeah, I just gotta get the smoke off and yeah. put my arm smell on the gentleman and on you. Yep. And blow your ears. Yep. And you can see when I do that, you can come through this country. You part of my mob. Once I put my arm smell and talk this language to yeah. you and then tell you, well, that's all. Well, yeah. Don't love Willie to explain and think. Yeah, Jason, Simon, now they're, they're mob. They're same yeah, as same, same mob. Same He's mob, great. yeah. <laughs> Awesome. We are to become part of the mob. I love wooden dorm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can explain that. Welcome happen? to my country. Yeah, welcome to my country. You're right. Now, you want to come down here, gentlemen? Yeah, I can do this, say to you. Talk now. Very like cool, Nanang. 
Welcome to my country. Welcome to my country. Warren, thank you. That is definitely a spiritual experience. <laughs> Don't you agree? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. If I'm not here and you come through here and I'm working, yep. you're free to come through. Fantastic. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah. It's all it's like you drive along the highway going back to your country. Fellas. On behalf of the Kuruchara people from Delta Dance, I'd like to welcome you to our country. You came here as strangers, but you leave here as friends. Old man Warney smoked you, and you're welcome to country. Also, awesome. yes. thank, right. yes. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Nice work, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Good work. That I'm glad. I've done this to you. Yeah. Uh, we are too. So are we. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Our smoke fire's turning me into well done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what a... G'day guys, this video is brought to you today by the ultimate camp cooking bundle from Camp Boss. Now, this would have to be one of my most favourite cooking utensils because it is lightweight. It's 12 inch, it's spun steel camp oven, comes with all the accessories. You've got a bag, you've got a trivet, you've got the hook, and you've got the gloves. Makes cooking in the bush easy and simple, like I always do when I go away. Anyway, if you want to check them out, go to Camp Boss 4x4 online web store, or get down to your local Camp Boss dealer. Anyway, that's enough from me. Keep checking out the video. Do you have a cocky problem around here, buddy? I can't say I've seen that many cockies in one spot. They're thick. Actually, they're little gorillas, truckloads of them. Little white suckers. That's <laughs> good. There's thousands of them. Bird life out here is out of control, we've only just got here. These are birds coming in. I'm going to have the galahs over here. <laughs> Truck, those are the little suckers. This place is going to be gold, I'm telling you. I'm looking forward to exploring this joint. It's quite amazing, like, the place is like, really arid, flat. Just gnarly looking country, but the bird life and the wildlife is just out of control. Bloody awesome. Alright mate, we're on our way. So, according to my map, I don't know what map you got, but according to my map, we got a bit of a haul to get out to the coastline, then once we hit the coastline, I'm assuming we're probably just going to be following some beach tracks or some tracks across the salt pans. Yeah, see that mate? Yeah, we've got a big long, long way to get out there. You gotta love the golf this time of year, don't you? It is the bomb. Hands down, 100%. I've actually just experienced the worst dust I've ever experienced, ever. I can't see, I've had to stop. Wow. That's some serious bull dust right there. Behind me? No, I think we're taking a bit of a dodgy turn here. We've got to be separated. There's so much bull dust around, you've got to sort of separate a fair bit. There's a bit of wind too, and the wind tends to blow it away quick, or sometimes it sits, but yeah, it's obviously lost my dust, can't see me. I think we're getting close, mate. We should see the ocean any second now. Yeah, there's a bit of a flat horizon. Should be a little track that pops us out onto the beach up here somewhere. Oh, we're here to find that. All I can see for the last 30, 40, 50 kilometers is a wall of dust. Yeah, the dust is a bit thick, isn't it? Bloody thick back here. Let me give you the drum. Yeah, here we go. Here's the track. Yeah, should hit. Should see the Gulf of Carpentaria very, very, very shortly. 
There she is, mate, the Gulf of Carpentaria. Oh, beautiful. Bloody beautiful. What the hell's that? Don't even have to bash through the bush to get to the beach, this Gulf. All right, mate, let's see if we can get down onto this beach and get up to that point, eh? Away you go, mate. Mate, the beach is quite hard. I was still gonna have to drop the air out of my tyres, but. Shit. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, that's a definite bog now. Yeah, I'm stopping here. I struggle to get down there. Different soft tyre pressure makes on the beach is unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. The difference it makes. I don't think we get far on this beach. This Gulf Country sand, mate, can be a nightmare. I'm just going to drop the air down to about 18 psi and see how we go from there. It wasn't too bad coming down, but it was downhill. Okay, let's let some tyres down. Eight tyres going down at once. I can feel the truck relieving itself. Of air, that is. This one's done. You there, mate? I'm going to see if I can go forward, eh? There you go, mate. There you go. Is that all you got? Go back and tell. I'll teach you to drive too far. Ooh. Don't drive behind me. Out. <laughs> ah, rookie move. You went too far into the soft, didn't you? I'll catch you up at the point. See you, buddy. No oh, problem. Tide for no, man. no problem, mate. Good job. Speed you too bad once you get out on it. Ah, she's great. A lot of people get to do this, mate, you know that, don't you? I do indeed. Look how many tracks there are on the beach. Zero. No, there's someone in front of me just carving the beach up. Bastard. Rog is up ahead. Sweet, better on than me, I can't believe it. Put your glasses on. Oh, yeah, there they are. Move the camp up and launch that titty tomorrow morning, eh? Not bad. A bit of a camp up and launch that titty tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll have a bit of a camper. Find a nice camper up on the point here somewhere. I reckon we camp near the creek. What do you reckon, Simon? That's good, mate. We're going to catch any fish right for water. No, I reckon the be, um, creek should be through here. Any, bit, any minute now. Yeah, this looks like a good spot in here, mate. That's the spot, mate. That's the spot. Look at that. That is the spot. Absolutely perfect. I reckon a fire there. Plenty of firewood. A couple of chairs. The river there. Tide's going to come in. Cold beer. Cold beer. Cold beer. Fire. Cold beer. Cold beer. We better quickly set up camp and then it's time for a beer o'clock. I reckon there'd be some barra money over there on those. See those drains? See the drains? There's a drain there, comes out onto the flats. So we get to setting up camp. Time to relax and watch the sunset over the gulf. Perfect. A quick camp setup is always the best. There's some beers coming on over there, bud. Cheers, cover. Thank you. <sighs> But as the sun sets, we get the call from old mate, Judge Jack. He has got some community service ready to go. So it's back to town tomorrow. 
Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by the Premium Adventure Recovery System from Campos 4x4. Now, this is an awesome little kit. Now, I put this kit together so that you've got all the little things that you need when you're out on an adventure and you get yourself bogged and you're looking for recovery. So, if you get a chance, check it out. Campos 4x4 shop online or get down to your local Campos dealer and they'll have plenty of these in stock. Otherwise, mate, stop listening to me, Babylon, and get on with your adventure. So the All for Adventure team is heading back to town by order of Judge Jack. All right, guys, apparently as part of my community service, I've been told that I've got to do some cooking. So this is for the community of the Carpentaria Shire Council. Now, that, that doesn't mean I've got to cook like a whole pile of stuff for the community, but what I've got to do is I've got to cook up some community recipes. Now, remember, these recipes are easy recipes where you can grab stuff from the cupboard, just bits and pieces that you find in your pantry. Let's say if you're isolated from a cyclone or floods, which let's face it, this area around Normanton and Corumba, the Gulf Country, had some serious cyclones and floods just recently, and, you know, some people were stranded. So, what can we pull out of the cupboard? Now, this recipe is from the Karumba State School. So, all you kids at the Karumba State School and teachers, thank you for sending this one in, because I'm gonna cook this one up. Now, this one is a cheese and herb damper. That's an easy one to pull out of the cupboard, trust me. So, let's get it cracking. It's called a herb and cheese damper, so we're gonna need things like herbs and cheese. Now, and you're thinking to me like, oh, isn't it supposed to be out of the cupboard? Yes, well, I'm gonna substitute that with some dry herbs, all right? And then, of course, we've got some other bits and pieces like self-raising flour, you'll find that in the cupboard. Let's whack it together. It is one of the easiest dampers you could do, and I'm pretty sure it's very similar to one of my dampers. You never know. First of all, you're gonna need some self-raising flour. You can worry about the recipe later, but I'm just gonna go a bit of, you know, a bit of the old about that much. Now, they've called for some salt, a little bit of that, all right? Then we're gonna need milk and we're gonna need some butter. So I'm gonna to need to get them out of the fridge. All right, that's a start. Let's whack some butter in. Again, I'm just gonna whack that much in. And of course, we're gonna get some milk. Now, what I normally do is, I would normally stick an egg in this, but like I said, it's stuff you pull out of the pantry, so we're trying to keep it on target. I've got some mixed herbs here. We'll chuck them in. How much? Yeah, give it a bit of a dose up. Now, what you could do is, because garlic keeps in the cupboard pretty well. You could chuck some garlic in there. All right, so I've got a bit of fresh garlic because that keeps for ages, let's face it. So what I'll do is I'll just crush that up just quickly in my hand. Yeah, look at that. Nice, fresh garlic. Good handful of cheese. Nothing like a good cheesy damper. There's an old melted cheese in there. So let's mix that up. Oh, look at that. Now this is going to be cooked in the camp oven again. You'll have access to a camp oven, like let's say the power goes out. Or your gas stove, you run out of gas. Well, you never run out of firewood out in these uh, cattle stations and remote areas, so that's a good thing. So this is a really dry mix at the moment. I'm trying to get that cheese in there because it's gonna be a real nice, cheesy, herby, garlicky type damper. That looks gold. See that one there? And what I've done is I've really tricked this one up a little bit. Perfecto. Now, you know a tricky little thing I could do? Let's whack this here, all right, like that. Cut a few herbs on top like that. Let's put a little dollop of cheese on top like that. Just press it in there so it doesn't fall off. There you go. Cheesy damper, ready to rock and roll. All right, mate, let's get this sucker on the fire. Yep, that'll do. We'll chuck that on there, slip him on top. That'll be perfect. Yeah, happy with that. All right, so there you go. That'll cook for about 25 to 30 minutes. Remember, it's only a small damper. We've got some good solid coals there. And look, let's face it, I've got to cook fast around here. Otherwise, Simon, he gets hangry, and you don't want him hangry, trust me. Hey, Simon, he'll be ready soon, mate. Come on, mate, is that thing ready yet? Get a bit peggish over here, it's fast, mate, go. Yeah, yeah, it's coming, mate, it's coming. Hungry, coming. angry. Oh, look at that, how good's that? All right, let's get this sucker out of the tin. Well done, Karumba State School kids and teachers for sending in this cool recipe. 
He appears. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, mate? Smells good. Looks good. Let's crack it open. Oh. Here we go, mate. Here's a big piece for you. I know you like big pieces. You don't need that. We'll put a bit of butter on it for you. Do you make me a coffee to go with it? No. no. Check that out. We'll Have try a, a bit too, it. mate. We both right. got to try this one because this is a newie. Here we go. I mean, I'm going in because I can't wait anymore. All right. Yeah, nice work. You haven't come up with that um, recipe? Good job. Yeah, mate, that should give you some energy for your community service. You know this isn't partly yours. This is mine. Yeah. Eating doesn't count. I know this. You I'm sure? I'm well aware of that. Yeah, eating's not going to cut well, it. I'm, I haven't got a problem with the community service. We caught Barry in the pond. It was worth it. You think it's worth it, but you don't know service. your community service just yet. That's right, all good. I've got a damper. Thanks, guys. Introducing the home of Australian adventure, Unleashed TV. A growing library of content featuring the best of four-wheel driving, fishing, touring, rig builds, bush cooking, and whatever you call this. Hope the airbags take up. Stream entire seasons of the hit TV show All for Adventure. Get me out of here, boys. Water's coming in. Unleashed. Oh, that's tight. And more original series from Jace and the team. In this mini-series, we're going to be exploring some of the most remote coastlines. Plus, get fresh new content exclusive to Unleashed TV subscribers. Snappers, mate, this is all going on down here, You it? can stream it all for just $9.99 per month. Yeah! That's why Unleashed TV oh, yeah. is the home of Australian adventure. Not washing it. He got it. He smoked it. Oh yeah!